Hi everybody, Kathy Arbor here. Today we're going to be doing some, I guess you could call it collage or mixed media, paint and paper. And I'm going to be using some collage from books or you could use it from um, calendars, whatever you have. And these are going to be put on the artist Car trading cards they're called and they're three by four these ones and I'm doing this for Dee Dee Willingham's fantasy garden um, challenge so if you want to look up Dee Dee Willingham um, to enter this you can anybody's welcome so I just thought it would be fun to do this today So I do have a few um, bits of collage here that I looked at because I didn't want to spend all day looking through books. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to see me do. So I found these and because they're such a small, this is the card, so it's three by four. Hey Joan, good to see you. Uh, if you're um, watching this recording, this is a live stream, so there are people in the chat. And I welcome you to uh, join us someday, because it's a lot of fun. And the girls in the chat, and sometimes guys, are very nice, so you don't have to worry. And if you got any questions, I have mods that can uh, get my attention, or they can answer it. Hi, Candy. So I just thought it would be fun to do this, show you what I'm going to do. Um, everybody's got a different interpretation of what fantasy garden would be. It could be hundreds of different things you could put on it. So um, I thought it would be kind of cool to do one with sky and um, a backdrop of a landscape, maybe a waterfall or something, clouds, and then incorporate um, a face in the landscape. <laughs> and now this is, I haven't tried it before, so <laughs> who knows? So I've got a few of these because they're so small, this should do me. Um, just looking at chat. Hey, Lena, Dorothy, Lori, having a great day. Nice day here. The sun's trying to come out. It's cold. Well, not cold, cold. We're in the plus. It's plus three here. So that's good. So if you're going to try this, give it a try with the... Um, collage because then you can paint your little added stuff into it you don't have to do it like completely with paint you can do it in collage add your little bits and pieces use magic markers or paint markers to do your embellishments over top of your collage hi sally so i thought the first one i want to do a sky and I want it hmm, with clouds, I think. I might just do the sky with uh, paint first. I don't want it cloudy like this. Um, and I will bring it closer so you can see what I'm doing once I can start painting. Um, I'll bring you in a little bit. That should be good for you. Oh. Wait a minute. Thank you. I'm looking at both screens, so. Okay. There you go. 
So right now, I think I'm just going to put some paint and do my sky. And I'm just going to use craft paint because that way I can, you know, use colored pencils if I want or um, paint pen or even actual pen. So this is just the Americana and this one is cobalt blue. And a little bit of white. Hey Kim. Um we have you have snow there in the UK? Oh, wow. You're getting uh, colder weather than normal? Because, yeah, that's odd for you guys. You don't normally get a whole lot of snow. I got a paper towel, so wipe my... Oh, wow. Hope it doesn't ruin plants. So we're going to, um, I think I might put this one here. Persian blue, too. Oh. Hey, Sandra. bit of Persian blue. We don't need a lot. Some of these paints have to go. And I just darken this blue a little bit with Persian blue. A little water. And I'll start off with blue. I'm just going to paint the whole thing with um, the sky and then I'm going to put the collage over top. A little darker on the corners here, I think. Gotta mix it up. Let's blue to it. My paint's still wet, so I can add some darker areas and just blend it into that wet area without too much trouble. Now let's do some um, clouds. So I'm going to get a little round brush, or not a round brush, a scruffy brush. This is just one of those scruffy brushes. And I'm going to add a little bit of white with maybe a tad of blue, just so they're not completely white. Wipe some of it off. And then I'll just add a few clouds, billowing clouds. They don't have to be big because we're doing kind of miniature in here. So I'm just going to do it all over the place because I'm not sure yet how my collage is going to be going on this. 
Maybe it'll be a floating island. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Just play with it. Could be wispy. Some more definition up here a little bit. So how many of you are going to do this? It's only three cards, so it's not like really time consuming. I thought if I could get this done today, then I can put it in the mail on Monday or tomorrow. You never know what the mail is going to be like. Okay, we'll just give that a blast with the heat gun. Right up. Yeah, it's for Didi's um, swap thing. There's only three, and you can do them all different, which is fun. All right, so now I think I want to put some mountains. So we have this type of mountain with a little bit of trees. That would work. So when you're doing something like this, you have to consider the... Um, perspective. So like you don't want to put a huge mountain in the background and then a bunch of little ones with little trees in front of it. So I was thinking about it since she got a longer due date for international. Oh, she made a longer due date? And like this would be too big because of the size of the card. So this would take up like all of the, and I want to make a landscape. So didn't you have to make four in total? One for D and three for slot. No, I think it was just three. One for D and two to go out. Um, I think somebody suggested four. So you keep one. Um, as far as I know, I could be wrong. So we have like this, this is perfect, this type of thing. Um, we got some trees in here. These are from a book. And we've got some cliffs in here that might work. And then we have this here. It's not too bad. Maybe some faraway mountains back there. Let's see. So I think I want the mountains. And you don't have to take the whole thing. You could take bits and pieces of it, too. So, you could make your own mountain also. Or even, let's see, we could, 
I'm going to take this. taking the sky out because I already have it so I don't really need that let's put that in there maybe and and I'm going to use matte medium where is it where did I put it Guys, I'm looking for my matte medium. Oh, I left it upstairs. All right, so I'm gonna have to bring out a new one, I guess. This is a heavy gel medium, but it'll do. And I want a brush. Put this in here. I want some sky left. Jilly, good to see you. Nancy, anyone I missed? All right, then. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll do. I'm going to put this down like that, I think. Oh, this is really, really stiff stuff. So the, I'm going to use these um, dark lines for my, um, I can put a waterfall in. So, so I'm making those lines work for me. I could put, let's see, I have that there. Yeah, I'll just put it there. I want to make it look like it's coming between two mountains, kind of. Probably getting very... <laughs> there. Okay. And maybe something different, like this one here. I don't want the water in it. Can have do you want me to take you guys in more so you can see what I'm doing I always forget Oop. there 
better. I might have to run upstairs. This stuff is very, very thick. I don't like it too much. It's super, super heavy gloss gel and it's <laughs> very thick. Okay. I'll put I don't want the water. Pick up that. that and then have an idea. It's in my head. Don't want sharp corners. See, I, for me, when I do collage, I have to have an idea. <laughs> I don't know how Dee Dee does it. I just, I can't just do it um, intuitively. And then I like to have some sort of idea of what it's going to be. That's just me. <laughs> Okay, let's, I'm going to get the other matte medium. We'll be right back. <laughs> 